Perfect. Okay, so here we go. For those of you who are just getting on, in case you weren't here from the very, very beginning, uh, my name is Jamie Greenberg, and uh, welcome to the online knowledge-based marketing webinar, where you're going to discover how small business owners like you capitalize on their uniqueness, expertise, and experience online to fill their businesses with customers that fit like a glove. Now, before we start, it's important for you to know that this webinar is for anyone who owns a service-oriented business, a professional healthcare practice, a retail store, a coaching or consulting practice, a financial service, a restaurant, a manufacturing business, and even if you're a professional in a transition. In other words, this webinar is for anyone who wants to set up or scale an existing online business. Now, no doubt, these have been some crazy times, but out of sheer necessity, resulting from the economic pain caused by the virus, I've seen many small business replace their lost revenue with online knowledge-based marketing. And friends, my goal today is to help small business owners eliminate the overwhelm and simplify the task of setting up or scaling your existing online business by creating a solution-focused, knowledge-based platform that will create new online revenue streams, drive customers to your physical space, save you a ton of time by simplifying the online process, keep your mission clear, constant, and consistent, build your credibility up the wazoo, and skyrocket your authority as a thought leader. Now, the reality is, Many of us have been trapped in old normal marketing, such as focusing only on offline product, marketing, and sales. Losing customers because you don't have the right online mechanisms or channels for creating loyal and sustainable customers who come into your store or office. Waiting for drive-by traffic, for people to search you online or respond to your local and Facebook ads. The new normal, online knowledge-based marketing, highlights the solutions you use to solve the problems in your market. It's gonna turn off my video here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, create online programs, incentives, and products based on your online mission, and share your unique perspective and expertise on social media in order to create credibility and trust. And today, I am very excited to show you how to leverage your uniqueness, expertise, and experience so that you can grab a piece of the exploding multi-billion dollar online knowledge-based industry that is growing by a whopping 14% a year. This is one of the biggest industries growing in the world today. Now, I'm just curious. Have you ever been to an art gallery and the artist walks up to you and he begins to tell you about the inspiration behind the painting. All of a sudden, because of that conversation, the art you were looking at takes on a completely different meaning and value. Just by the artist sharing her inspiration and knowledge about the painting has piqued your interest and increased her chances of selling you a piece of art. That's knowledge-based marketing in a nutshell. See, it's the knowledge, inspiration, and ideas you have as an expert that enables you to influence the sale by first giving the why that lives in your products and services. And when you express your why with passion and conviction, you show up as the inspirational face of your business. Today's modern leader needs to influence, inspire, and inform people with direct, engaging, and transparent digital communications. The old playbook isn't enough said Greg Mullaney, founder of The Connected Leadership in Washington, D.C. Gary James, executive director from The Page Group, says, by a ratio of more than two to one, customers and employees say they would prefer to buy a product or work for a CEO who shares their knowledge and personal insights on social media and video as part of their work. Why? Because we show big loyalty to those brands where the CEO shares his knowledge and expertise and makes a sincere emotional connection. Because we love when a business owner shares with us the human side of his company and gives us a peek at his personality. 
I'm telling you, your business will transform when either you or someone in your company learns how to inspire, educate, and sell online using your knowledge and unique persona. Now, before we get into it, let me tell you a little bit about myself. After owning and running a six-figure entertainment business, and then working with my family to grow and sell a multi-million dollar toy manufacturing company, and then running my own consulting company, developing many products and getting clients on TV, I now use my knowledge-based marketing system to launch emerging and scale small business owners, helping them grow online so they can achieve next level profits and impact. And for many years now, I have been working with brilliant, brilliant people from all around the world who've had the desire and courage to take that leap and capitalize on their uniqueness, expertise, and experience using their one-of-a-kind online knowledge-based platform to scale both their online and offline businesses. And that's why today I am so pumped to share with you my three-stage knowledge-based marketing system. Stage one is where you create your knowledge-based platform. Stage two is implementing your content marketing plan. Stage three is where you set up your online sales path. Okay, let's start with stage one. Now, if you're gonna drive a business with your knowledge, you're gonna need a platform to organize it. And that all happens with your knowledge-based platform blueprint, which will become the foundation of all your online marketing. Now to the right is a knowledge-based platform template. This is where one, you zero in on your online mission brand that serves as the hub of your knowledge-based platform. Two, you build the framework for your knowledge-based platform with four relevant problems you solve for your market. Three, you create the pillars that support that framework with four solutions that solve each of the four problems. Your online mission brand tells your customer why your customer exists and what it stands for. And your mission brand should always, always communicate the exceptional result you provide for your customer. Now the four problems you solve creates the framework for your online knowledge-based platform. These problems are the most relevant challenges your customer is craving solutions for. And how do you come up with the most relevant problems to solve in your market? By creating customer surveys, talk to people in your market niche, run focus groups, and hang out in Facebook and LinkedIn groups. These groups are where you can, you can obtain so much important, valuable information of what the, your industry needs to be solved. And it's a great way to communicate and uh, develop relationships and get an insight into your industry. I love that. Why this research is so important is because the problems you solve are the problems you're going to be speaking about, teaching about, and selling products about. These problems will become the heart and focus of your online programs and social media content. The problems you solve will position you as an online thought leader and authority that will garner you a ton of trust and loyalty. Now, after identifying the four problems, you create four solutions that solve each of the four problems. And to ensure that your customers have success with the solutions you provide to solve their problems, you must articulate your solution so your customer can easily implement it. Remember that your online success depends on the usability of your solution because you wanna get your customer a win as soon as possible. Now I wanna take a moment to paint you a picture of what a knowledge-based marketing company could look like for a toy company. As I mentioned, I was in the infant preschool business, uh, toy manufacturing business. We sold the company in the early 2000s when online and social media were just getting its feet wet. Yes, we sold toys, but every toy we made was infused with our mission, grow the best child. Today, if I was transitioning our company into an online business, I would have been laser focused on developing engaging online relationships with our customers. I would be consistently sharing solutions that addressed our customers' most relevant problems. And I would give parents a way to connect with me and our staff about how to play, educate, and connect with their children. I would also make sure 
that our social conversation continued by giving them updates on parenting tips and insights through emails, social media posts, and videos. And I'd even create an online course with instructional videos, play tip sheets, and interviews with experts. And all of a sudden, my toy company is a source of knowledge and fun where parents go to find tips on how to play, how to educate, and how to connect with their children. Now, if you were a parent, you can see how this valuable knowledge and social conversation would start instilling a trust factor and influencing your buying decision. And here's the knowledge-based platform example for my toy company. Okay, our online brand mission was grow the best child. The four problems we solve for our market are how to keep your child occupied on their own, how to introduce an early learning education, screen-free ways to connect with your kids, and four, put bedtime problems to rest. And the solutions that we use to solve each of these problems, let's start with my problem one, make your own cartoon. We gave them, we would give them um, uh, an instruction sheet and a video on how to make their own cartoon, how to create an idea box so that when they got bored, they would have plenty of things to do. We gave them an, an instruction sheet uh, with everyday objects that they could find in the house to build a fort. And then we gave them a list of toys that had a ton of play value. And we did the same thing for problem two, three, and four. And now the beautiful part about this template is that it makes your content and marketing solution focused. And that creates a ton of value for your online customer. Now, let's take a quick look at some of my clients who've launched or are scaling their online business with their knowledge-based platforms. Okay, this is Jen. Jen has a declutter organizer business and came up with her online brand mission called Space Transformations that now anchors her knowledge-based platform. Jen says, we knew very little about marketing online but once we organized our unique perspectives into a knowledge-based platform, we now have a great tool to grow our online revenue. David transformed his consulting business into the courageous path, his new online brand mission, the hub of his knowledge-based platform. He says, I feel far clearer about who I am and the value I offer. Sheila is one of the top relationship coaches in the country and wanted to upgrade her online presence shows she redesigned her relationship coaching techniques into a signature process using her knowledge-based platform and created the four portals of Big Love as her online brand mission. She says, the powerful process of developing my knowledge-based platform allowed me to create a market-focused brand based on my heart-driven mission. The reason you create a knowledge-based platform is because you are ready to amplify your online business with rich, solution-focused content that lives and breathes in everything that you produce online. So now the big question, what are the most effective and profitable ways to use your knowledge-based platform to drive customers to your website landing page or in-store business? Okay, this is where we get into stage two, where you implement your content marketing plan by repurposing your knowledge-based platform into one or a combination of the following four online marketing strategies, depending on your business staff and budget. Okay. Strategy one, a lead magnet, your free online giveaway. Two, implementing social media content creation and production. Three, designing your webinars, seminars, and keynotes. Four, creating revenue with online programs and products. <laughs> okay, let's get a little deeper into strategy one. Now there's nothing worse than a customer signing up for your lead magnet and receiving a giveaway that doesn't give them value. You lose them right from the start because your content isn't delivering on the promises you made. Next is an example of a simple, yet powerful lead magnet that your customers will look forward to receiving and have them coming back for more. Now, I suggest offering your customers a free solution-focused five-day email challenge lead magnet as your free giveaway on your website sign-up form based on one of the problems you solve from your knowledge-based platform. Now, if you look at this graphic here, 
all I'm doing here is taking the first problem and the four solutions. And that's what I'm going to create my five day email challenge from. So everything is born out of your knowledge base platform. Your five day email challenge is essentially a mini course that introduces the problem in the first email followed by four solution emails based on the content from your knowledge base platform. On the fifth solution email, it's your turn to share one of your offers. Based on my toy company example, the cover graphic would look something like this. Five day challenge, grow the best challenge. The chi <laughs> grow the best child. And it makes sense that after your customer implements the challenge and gets a positive outcome, they are much more likely to purchase one of your online or in-store offers. Now there are many strategies, many different strategies to offer your customers. However, what I love about the five day email challenge is how it showcases your knowledge and expertise on the way you solve your customer's problem. When you create a series of solution focused email content, this immediately proves to your audience that you're an expert in your niche. Okay. Strategy two, Next, we look at, next, we're going to look at how to create and produce social media content from your knowledge base platform. Look, we all know creating enough social media content to stay consistent and relevant can be expensive and time consuming. We also know that social media is all about starting a conversation. And if your audience isn't getting value from your content, your conversation isn't going anywhere. If you want to make sure that your social conversation is fruitful, and on point with your target market, connecting customers with the right information at the right time in their customer journey, it is so important to take the time to organize the content from your knowledge based platform into your social media content calendar. Just the way you've structured your mission and the solutions that solve your market's problem with your knowledge based platform, mapping out a social media knowledge based content calendar makes it so much easier to plan content creation and, and plan your content creation production schedule. When you batch bank and schedule your content, you simplify the process of posting to your social media platforms, saving you a ton of time. Okay. Let's look at the steps you take to put together your content calendar. One, you plan out a sequence of posts over a two month period. You have to give yourself enough time, lead time, and decide which post you want to write, video, or photo caption. Two, then after you produce your content, if you use a social media software tool like this one on the left, you can post and auto schedule your content. And three, then you can select which social media platforms you want to post on for each piece of content. With your knowledge based content calendar, you will never again waste your time racking your brain for a bunch of new content using a shotgun approach. And most importantly, when you repurpose your content from your knowledge base platform onto your social media platforms, it keeps your mission clear, constant, and consistent, which builds a ton of equity in your online brand. Now, you know how content is developed and organized. Let's now look at the content production step. Next. I have some social media production magic that anyone can do to maximize one piece of content from your knowledge based platform by customizing it to fit all your social media formats. Pay attention to this. This is really remarkable. And by the way, if you can't afford an entire team to follow you around creating and posting your videos, this technique will become your biggest time saver. Watch how I take the first solution email from my toy company's five day email challenge and adapt it into a video or a written post. For this example, I'm using the video post format because video, according to the content marketing Institute gets 10 times more engagement than any other format. Okay. Let's do, let's, let's, let's quickly go over the format for the first email I use in my five day challenge. I always write the subject line to attract an audience for the problem that I'm solving. Running out of things to do with your kids. See how the line targets people on my list who need what I'm offering. Then after they open the email, they see my headline that targets their problem in more detail. Are you struggling to find new creative activities you can do with your kids? 
The intro is just a few lines that explains who you are and what you do. The body of the content is where you share your process, examples, or exercises, and we close with two call to action options. Click here or visit us now. And this is how you adapt your email content into a four bullet video guide that, that you can use when you shoot a video on your phone. Start your video by saying your email headline question. Use your email intro to speak about who you are, the problem you're going to solve, and the solution you offer. Then talk about your quick three-step process or examples and how to get your solution, on how to get your solution. Then close with your call to action that tells them where to click to get your offer. Now take that finished video and post it on your blog, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram TV. Now let's grab a screenshot frame from your video and make a caption photo for Instagram. And finally, take the same video and edit a one minute version for your Instagram feed, a 15 second version for your Instagram story, and a 15 second TikTok video. And now you've easily produced one piece of content, exploding it out onto nine social media formats. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> and that means more people see your posts, start following your brand, and ultimately, results in more sales. Okay, let me ask you, how many times have you sat in a webinar, watched a webinar, or went to a conference and heard a keynote and got bored in the first 10 minutes and you're going, oh my God, I gotta get out of here. And that's why it is beyond imperative that your content is organized so that you can effectively and engagingly teach it in a digestible way that will guarantee your audience comes away with an actionable solution. And in strategy three, it just so happens that your knowledge-based platform is the perfect framework for developing engaging solution-focused presentations like webinars, seminars, and keynotes, which we all know are great customer generators. See how all your solution-focused content is plated, ready to be adapted in your seminar or keynote organizer? And look how easily your knowledge topics convert into a slide presentation for your webinar or seminar. And why do we do these presentations? So we can educate and engage the customers in our audience with our knowledge, insights, and ideas so that they feel incredibly inspired to buy our offers, right? And that is exactly what the knowledge-based platform does for you. And last but not least, strategy four, I love showing how to turn knowledge-based platform into online programs and in-store offers. This is where you really make your money. That generate additional revenue in addition to driving new customers to your physical space. And you do that by turning your knowledge-based platform into a curriculum you can package online as high-end coaching, training, or classes, group coaching, training, or classes, or do-it-yourself online courses or training. Now, Allie turned her knowledge-based platform, Suck It Is Soulful, transforming our crap into a holy shift, into additional income streams for her coaching business with an online course, multiple books, and a workshop toolkit. Okay, let's take a quick look at how a clothing retailer could turn her knowledge-based platform into a solution-focused online program. Now, any clothing retailer knows that their customers love getting advice and feedback on how to dress for their body type, profession, and age. Are her customers really buying her clothes? Or do they come to solve their fashion problems by tapping into her styling knowledge and experience? Well, of course, they want her knowledge, expertise, and experience. And that fashion knowledge base allows her to easily position herself as an online and offline personal styling coach, solving customers' problems like saving money by doubling your outfits, by learning how to mix and match your wardrobe, how an updated wardrobe keeps you young at heart, attract more clients with an adventurous fashion mindset, how to pick clothes that bring out your professional and casual self. In addition, she creates an online course like 
the seven step styling formula, one day masterclass, how to set yourself and your closet up for success. And besides your online programs, look what else is staring you right in the face. 21 chapters for your book or ebook, 21 episodes to start your podcast, and 21 topics to springboard your Facebook Live broadcast, all coming out of your knowledge based platform that you create, keeping your brand clear, constant, and consistent, by the way. And finally, stage three. And now, that you have your content marketing strategies up and running, you're ready to design your online sales path, the roadmap that will drive customers to your offers. I mean, this is where it's all about, right? This is where we get our sales. So let's look at an online sales path that converts leads into customers. You start first by posting your social media post, which directs customers to your lead magnet landing page to sign up for your free offer which triggers the first email you send to them, which directs them to an engagement or product offer. Each of these steps needs an invitation to buy, known in marketing circles as a call to action, which is simply a way to focus the attention of your audience on the next action you want them to take. Now, a call to action can be as simple as two words, sign up, buy now, learn more, or a sentence or two like, today only, get two free toppings with an order before 5 p.m. Love learning about nutrition? Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you never miss a post. And it can be simple text like a hyperlink or a clickable button. So let's look at one of my online sales paths. <clears throat> Here's a written social media post I use to promote my webinar. Notice the two call to actions. Sign up today and learn more. Here is my video social media post that promotes the same webinar with one call to action. There's limited space, so save your spot now. Both posts direct my customers right to my webinar landing page, which has three call to actions. Yes, save my place. Click here to secure your spot. Act fast, spots fill up quickly. After they sign up, it triggers my welcome email that ends up in their inbox and directs them to my offer. Call today for pre-webinar discounts on all products and coaching packages. And here's my online sales path on one page. Okay, so I start with my social media written post with the two call to actions and my social media video post with one call to action, which directs them right to my landing page with the three call to actions. And then direct, then triggers my welcome email and asks them to look at my offer. And the online sales path completes the third stage of my knowledge-based marketing system. Okay, let's do a quick review of the three-stage knowledge-based marketing system. Okay, in stage one, I showed you how to design your knowledge-based platform by creating your online mission brand identifying the four relevant problems you solve for your market, and third, creating four solutions for each of the four problems. In stage two is where you learned how to implement a content marketing plan by repurposing your knowledge-based platform using one or a combination of these four strategies. Your lead magnet giveaway, your free content giveaway. Now, using your knowledge-based platform to create a solution-focused lead magnet gives your customer an incentive to sign up with their email in exchange for a valuable piece of content that establishes you as an authority and earns their trust. Now, my favorite is the five-day email challenge. Strategy two, implementing your social media content creation is where you tailor your knowledge-based platform to your social media content creation and production so you can batch, bank, and schedule all your platforms, saving you a ton of time. Strategy three is where you saw how easy it is to convert your knowledge-based platform into a talk format and slide presentation for a webinar, seminar, or a keynote. And four, you adapt your knowledge-based platform into revenue-generating online programs, products, and incentives that can also drive customers to your physical space. And finally, in stage three, I showed you how to design your online sales path by first creating your social media post, 
that directs customers to your web landing page, which triggers your welcome email, directing them to your offer. And at this point, you're wondering, how can I specifically apply the knowledge-based marketing system to my business? Now, I am confident after seeing this work with clients over and over and over and over again, it can work for you. That was awesome, Jamie. I, I do have a, a question. You were showing how you um, schedule and structure your social media posts using a tool. Could yeah. you mention the name of that tool? Uh, you know, I, there's a bunch of different tools and it, it, they're all, um, they're, 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 a, they're all different price points mm -hmm. and there's a different um, things that I recommend for different customers depending on uh, what their business model is and what we end up, you know, like, because for the knowledge-based platform, when you're deciding whether you want to do online coaching or you want to just start driving people to your physical space, you know, there, there are different platforms that have different um, price points and it, it really needs to be orchestrated. So, I mean, you know, there, there are tons of them out there. You could just search online uh, to, you know, if, to get a social media tool and you, you can see. Okay. I, I know there, there's a ton, which is, um, I have, I have a favorite, but I don't like to endorse them on, on, on the webinar. Okay. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Uh, we are open for questions. Um, the chat box is up. Um, so any questions at all for Jamie, that was a lot of information. I personally, because I'm a process person, I love how well organized everything was. Um, and usually the world of marketing is very creative. So stuff is all over the place and you, we've got thought processes all over the place. I'm like, Oh, he organized everything. That was pretty cool. Well, you know, I, one thing that I found the online world is complicated and it's very task driven and there's a lot of moving parts. And my goal after investigating this for many, many years now and uh, experiencing many different coaches and many different um, points of view, I wanted to consolidate everything into a simplified task of being able to get out there as quick as possible. But I surmised that it has to be done from the knowledge base because that's the only way that you are distinguishable, that really distinguishes you. So if you learn how to harvest your revelations, your epiphanies and your unique perspective and then anchor it into that platform, that's what's gonna distinguish you in the market. That's what's gonna make you stand out like a beacon of light. And then, then you just have to repurpose it. You don't wanna change the trunk of a tree. If you cut down the trunk of the tree, the tree falls. And this is where branding gets all messed up because I have people come to me that the book is called this, the workshop is called this, and you know, it, it's all over the lot. And when you're dealing with a lot of different social media platforms, you have to stay clear constantly. You gotta keep the trunk of the tree. So you don't have to create a product with a new title based on the same content. But that, now, that knowledge base is really just a blueprint that you say, oh, maybe I wanna do an online course. Maybe I just wanna use it for social media to drive people to my physical space but at least you have anchored and done some research on what's really relevant to your market. Absolutely. That was, that was great. That was great. Um, so a couple comments are coming in the chat. I, you can read the, the chat as well. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, how do I figure out, let, let's take Susan's quick. How do I figure out the four problems? Well, I, I had one slide there. Um, I find where I get my information when either I'm starting a new project for a client <laughs> and I have to figure out the four problems for them because that's what, that's what we do. I, I go right to Facebook or LinkedIn groups and I start having conversations with these people because they're experiencing the same kind of problem that my client is experiencing. And I have great conversations and I, I, I get all the challenges, all the issues, all the pain, and I harvest it from that. And then, you know, I'll get a little bit more focused and pick out the ones that I feel 
are the most prevalent there. And then maybe I'll run a little kitchen focus group, you know, with some people or, or, or that I trust. Uh, and, and then from there, you start. You can always change your problems as you go. It's a living, breathing document that that is, you know, that that document is a piece of software that I have, that I've developed, and you can move and change it any way you want. You know, so uh, in your initial research might change. But that, that to me is the best place to go. It's the best market research tool in the world. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Let's take another one here. Uh, how does knowledge-based marketing uh, overcome the pay for click environment. Well, pay per click is an expensive uh, ordeal. You know, it requires a substantial budget. And if, and if you don't have a big company uh, who can really invest in it today, because you know, now uh, keywords that uh, are gonna get you any kind of uh, registration on the first page are gonna cost you a ton of dough. So uh, this is where the, um, the knowledge-based marketing really works because you're depending on relationships uh, to drive your sales. And if you're posting content, right? I don't care if you have an email list of 50 people or 100 people, but if you have content that's really relevant that is solving their problem, well, uh, that whole example of the, the email challenge, Okay, which can be a plot. You can use the same format in your social media posts. If you start to solve a problem for someone quickly and get them a win, you're going to earn their trust and they're going to see you as an authority. And then at the bottom of your social media posts, like I showed, or your emails, you're going to have call to actions. You're going to ask for a, a strategy call or you're going to point them to an offer, you know, from your store or something. And it's going to be, I'm telling you, it's so much more effective, especially if you don't have a lot of money you know, to spend on, uh, on keywords and clicks. Th does that help? Yeah, it, I hope she got that. No, I, I asked the question because it, oh, oh. it's very relevant in today's world because the small business person uh, is under tremendous pressure to compete with the deep pockets boys. And then on top of that, the social media guys, uh, they have their agendas. Okay, mm -hmm. um, but the power of the KBM to rise above it all, you know, it, what you're really talking about here is messaging and, and finding that sweet spot that resonates with the customer. And that, you know, it's the old story. If you find that sweet spot, they'll find you. So it, it hasn't changed in a hundred years. I mean, it's the same thing. It's just applying it in this kind of relationship marketing, it, it, you know, even if you're a sales guy going out to a buyer, right? If you're including them, I always included them in the development of what we were doing. So they have some ownership of it. And it's the same thing on social media now, though it's, it's so incredible that you can engage a whole network of people who have the same problem. And if you can, you know, just find the challenge, you know, that the right bait for the right pond for that, for that, um, you know, niche market there, you'll start getting some traction. I guarantee it. I, I, I agree with you. Uh, but that's where uh, the, the smaller business struggles because they're, they're, they're not j jumping on what I think is very uh, insightful uh, philosophy of the KBM. And yeah. um, especially if you have in your value proposition a unique positioning or unique offering in the eyes of the client. And uh, I, you know, it, it's, it's not going to get any easier because brick and mortar is going to continue to obviously be under pressure. Yes. And I think what's transpired as a result of this pandemic, you know, people who never used zoom before now are using Voom, zoom, you know, I, I've been on zoom for five years and I mean, I, I, I live here because this is part of my business. But people now are, are, are forced to look at this so much more closely as, and incorporate it as part of their revenue stream. They're not gonna, and, and the people who start generating, uh, like my daughter's an Arthur Murray dance teacher, 
everything went online, all their classes, their showcases, everything. They're not giving up that revenue because they can see, first of all, they can do it internationally. You know, they have 224 franchises that everybody can participate in one, you know, and, and tech. So they have this big Zoom showcase now. So I'm sure that's going to be part of their business plan. So everybody's tripping on this because, uh, just because of the necessity of, of what's happening today. Um, and I'm very excited about helping people do that and show hey, look, small businesses. I was in a small business, you know, a, a $60 million a year business. You know, you, you have a, a small staff, everybody's got a million jobs and people are busy, you know, and then all of a sudden I got to consider an online component to my business, you know, that'll blow their, their minds apart, you know, so I'm trying to present something simple and easy, you know, that can work within their IT department or their social media people. You know, people come in so special. It's like going to a doctor today. You know, everybody's like so specialized. You can't figure out what's wrong with you, you know, because they only look at your ear. So this is, I'm just taking it down to what, what you said before, Bruce, to the, the real prime aspect of marketing, which is you got to have the right bait for the right pond. You got to figure out who you are. And in today's world, you want to become the inspirational face. You got to find someone who can work, become a social, a social star on social media, someone who can communicate and do video and be there, you know, and we help people do that also because that's a whole new thing too. Who, who thought you were going to have to be on TV and communicating with everybody? You know, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot here. There's a lot. Yeah. I, I'll share a story with you uh, and our guest today, Jamie. I have a score client and he's got a pool, swimming pool accessory product. The details are unimportant, but for a number of years, he struggled and struggled. It wasn't going anywhere. And in the last three months, uh, we've gotten his messaging, you know, finally into focus and via a video, he will be pitching his product to Walmart online next week. And he's, he's in shock because, you know, and I asked him, do you, do you have enough product? Because just to fill the pipeline, as you know, could be a, a, a yeah. big amount of units. But the idea of using the video to communicate the message, to be online with the Walmart buyer in Bentonville, Arkansas, who would have thunk it, right? <laughs> no, I'm... Um... Uh, it, it's remarkable, but you, th this is very important now to be able to have that in your toolkit to be able to uh, present. Wait, uh, we haven't, I haven't been looking at the box. Okay, what, what is this? Susan Roach said, uh, so how do I go on Facebook as a photographer and ask what, why would you hire a photographer and for what? And I'm not sure people would answer. Okay, well, if you're a photographer, you know, this is an easy one because, again, I go back to the point where uh, you're an artist and you've, uh, I'm sure you've accumulated your own perspective on how you, on how you shoot, how you look at art, how you differentiate in the market from your other uh, competitors. And I sh I'm sure out of that, once you begin to harvest that and have a, you gotta give yourself permission to have a little bit of a creative process for yourself, you know, where you can start beginning to collect your beginning, middles and ends, you know, of, of who you really are. You have to give yourself permission for that. And out of that exercise, you'll begin to start to see some of the problems you know, just from your own perspective, you've been in this industry, you know what problems need to be solved, either at a wedding or a portrait shoot or a commercial shoot or, or whatever it is. And if you can succinctly define what that is, the person who's gonna hire you say, oh wow, she knows what she's talking about. She's an authority. You've already presented yourself as an authority. You already have one leg up because remember I said, you took the time to articulate how to implement something. That relaxes people that you know what you're doing. I hope, that, I hope that answered that. And if you want, Suzanne, give me a call. 
and uh, once I understand more about your personal situation, uh, we can get a, a, a little bit better roadmap together for you. Oh, good. She said thank you. She was listening. Wonderful. So Jeannie says, do you have a template to share with us to fill out our knowledge-based marketing system? Oh, um, you, you know, if, if you, for anybody who wants a template, give me a call and then I will send you one. Just click on the link and schedule a call and then I will send you one. Okay, anyone have any, any other questions at all? I think, I think this was great. It was a ton of information, uh, but I think it's also um, gave us some inspiration. Good. To get our, to get our act together. <laughs> well, you know, I was talking to Nancy. Uh, we thought maybe a good follow-up with it to be was to do, maybe do a workshop where uh, we could get, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 people who, who were, who want to apply some of this and um, where we can do more of a, a, either some breakout groups and come back with specific projects ind indigenous to what they're working on. You know, so we were talking about maybe following up with that. You know, I, I would add one other comment and it fits very well with what Jamie has suggested today. SCORE is not a, uh, what I would call a recipe driven uh, service to you. Um, each of our clients has a different need, a different, you know, story, a, you know, there's a different recipe for each client. And what I think what Jamie's message is today is that, yeah, there are some principles here that you can use, but at the end of the day, each individual business is going to have their own uh, story that they're going to have to get out there, which is why we would encourage everybody, if you're interested, to take them up on his offer and, uh, you know, uh, share with him the specifics of your business and how he might be able to help you. Let me clarify this, Bruce. The link in the, that I gave people uh, is my schedule calendar. Okay, and all the meetings are done on Zoom and I can share my screen, you can share your screen. Uh, that's why I'm not giving out my phone number because they're all Zoom based and it's much easier to schedule than you know, calling back and forth and trying to get dates together. Oh, yeah. My whole yeah. availability is right on there and I've segmented some time specifically for this webinar for people. Yeah, I went to the I went to the link and opened it up, and then I just copied the, the actual URL that pops up. So, guys, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a link if you want to schedule something with Jamie. Um, all you have to do is choose what time is available for you and fill out your information. Okay, so uh, is this a wrap, uh, Susanna? I think this is a wrap. I think uh, I think we've squeezed Jamie dry. He doesn't have a <laughs> drop of blood left in him. No, um, it was fine. Gasping for good. air. <laughs> it was all good. I, I love doing this. I love. I really love doing this work. So uh, it was great. I mean, and thank you again for everybody who came and uh, Bruce. It was really nice meeting you, and maybe we can get on a hop on a call. Maybe there's something we can do together, you know? Okay, you got a deal. Okay. All right, my friend. All right. Hey, Bruce, Everybody you want to give another reminder about getting a mentor? Yes. Go ahead, Suzanne. Oh, okay. Well, I was, I was inviting you to do that, but it's okay. Um, so, guys, if you are struggling by yourselves and you would like some free help, that no strings, just free, uh, pro bono, low cost, whatever, you know, thing you said, Bruce. Um, the mentors are, are here. They're, they're waiting to help you. Um, just go to score.org and there's a place where you can click to find a mentor. There are mentors all over the country. Um, type in your information and you will be matched with someone. So please take advantage of that. And then 
Um, you know, keep a lookout for our emails. We'll be giving you notices of upcoming workshops. We'll be letting you know when this video and all our other videos are on the YouTube channel. And um, um, okay, so Jeannie's asking, are SCORE meetings in person? I, I'm gonna, I, I don't wanna answer for you, Bruce, but I'm gonna say not right now. <laughs> Pre-pandemic, I used to meet with Bruce in his office in Panera. <laughs> 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 um, and that was great, but um, you know, right now we're all being very respectful and cautious. So we are meeting. Um, I mean, Bruce, you can answer that. You know, yeah, I, Zoom, I, whatever. I've I've, uh, I, I've you know graduated from Panera, which I miss terribly. <laughs> to uh, uh, doing the same thing Jamie's doing. In fact, I was on uh, a call this morning with a gentleman from Seattle, Washington. Uh, on a Zoom call, and you know that seems to be uh, something that everyone is uh, adapting to and comfortable with. It's a great technology tool, and uh, you know, it, you know, it, it, you're literally in a meeting with somebody, and they're right across the desk from you or the chair. So, uh, you know, reach out, and uh, we'll be zooming uh, for anybody who uh, would like to chat with us. And I reinforce uh, Susanna's message that. We're here to help you. Uh, we're a bunch of volunteers. Uh, you know, we're not doing this uh, for monetary gain. We're doing it because we want to help out and give back uh, for all the uh, uh, good fortune that we've had in our lives. So with that, Susan, I think we're going to uh, cut it at this point. Okay. All right. Jamie, thank you again. <laughs>